Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations. Hey Droma, and in today's live stream, we are, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, <laughs> not entirely certain. I have a couple of different projects floating around on different tables, so I don't know if we're going to be doing some sculpting. I don't know if we're going to be doing some leather working. I don't know if we're going to be doing some wire wrapping. I don't know if we're going to be playing with uh, fused glass. I don't know. Hey, Rebel. Randy's actually not here right now. He went to go check the post office. And that wind advisory was not kidding. I might have to just take the umbrellas down entirely. The tree out front's going like, like sideways. Um, it's fine though. Everything's fine. Um, how are y'all doing today? Like, I hope you guys are doing really well. Hey, Stormy. I should be doing schoolwork, but here, and here we are. <laughs> Double shoulder, shorter, sh Double shoulder ordered for some leather work. Right on, cosplay noob. Ah, uh, hey, Nina. Not yelling, just at work. Hey, Katrina. Aw, <laughs> uh, thanks, Stormy. I cut my hair this morning in the shower. Really, actually, right before getting in the shower. I don't know. I just felt like... Fuck it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, also, our content is not for children. Watch at your own discretion. You clicked on my face. Um, <laughs> I will say... Naughty potty mouth words, probably. Um, but it's nothing worse than you might have heard if you read a, rode a public school bus. So, I don't know what we did, or what we're going to do today, Anita. Um, ah, thanks, Acid. But no, I'm pretty happy with it. I kind of want to shave my head, but I think this will be a fine, like, in-between. Um, woo, clipped your bangs. That's dangerous territory, Kelly. That can go horribly wrong any moment. <laughs> ah, thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Rebel. It's, I haven't even hinted or anything. This is just the natural hair color. Them good old jeans. I also like Jennifer Aniston's hair. I don't know if I know what her hair looks like. <laughs> um, do y'all want to see some pretty cobblestones? I've been having issues with Patreon. Surely I'm not alone. Oh my gosh, Tanya. Yeah, you are not alone. Um, we're trying to help people as much as we can. If you guys are having issues with Patreon, please send us a message and let us know. Um, but also, there's not a whole lot Randy and I can do beyond just referring you to um, Patreon customer support. Because Randy and I aren't able to control anything on our end, um, if that makes sense. Like... Like, we can't, like, we can refund you, but we can't, like, make them charge you differently. Or, like, I don't, I don't know. It just, it, we'll, we'll try to help any way that we can. Hey, Amy. Got the leather box from the auction. Woohoo. Thanks so much. Ah, oh, right on, Pro Glow. I've shaved my hair before. It was awesome. Oh, Jenny. I just, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've got, like, hot dog rolls on the back of my head, though. So I'm going to leave my hair on for now. But uh, it's one of my goals in my life one day I want to have like a shaved head with like a faux hawk I don't know I think that'll be when uh whenever I start getting like elderly that'll be my nursing home hairstyle will be the faux hawk um oh hey Victoria this is the first time on chat right on over here forgetting it's Tuesday hey Sabrina going to cut vinyl dragons to hang all over my workshop Ooh, just because is the best reason man my hair tie broke. Oh. oh, hey, Lydia. We're still holding on to your order for you. <laughs> oh, Tanya says they won't take any forms of payment from me, so I'm super thrilled with that. We're hoping to have... Um, we don't take it personally at all, you guys. If you're like <clears throat> to Patreon and you just don't like dealing with them, uh, please feel free to cancel your account, like, shut that down, like, delete your Patreon, like, whatever makes you feel good, because we do have other avenues for, we do have other avenues for uh, supporting the channel, we will be selling craft along kits um, on the website, whenever we fulfill Patreon, any that we have extra, go, um, <clears throat> go up on the website, board, board, come on down here, ooh, Who's that like, handsome man would, coming would, into my house? Would you repeat that? I heard pork boy. Oh, thank you, sir. 
I think one of these is for you. From Julie. Will you come sit by me? I miss you. You were gone for like five minutes. I don't know if I'll ever recover from this. My separation anxiety is crippling. Ouch. So you have a turn. Come back here. No, I missed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, pushes Daniel off the chair. Oh no. Um, evening, lovely. Hey guys. Hey, Beth. I hope you're feeling good. Thanks to Nambar and Nava Vanity, you are off for the Discord. Ooh! Right on! Sparky got your bracelet. Very cool. Shopping at Walmart. Stay safe. Hey! Oh, Randy! The uh, glow in the dark bead rainbow bracelet yeah. needs to be 8 inches. Can you make some more units for me? We got, we got it started yesterday, but we didn't finish it because I didn't know how big you'd want it. Okay, so I guess we're going to be opening some mail. We've got some mail opening to do. So, I don't know who this will spell, but I'm going to open it. How is the wind driving, Randy? I'm fine. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause this the black walnut in the front yard keeps going sideways. Oh, really? Oh, oh, these are fancy. So, these are the third. Judy, are you here? Um, the third flush cutters from Judy. It says, high quality carbon steel integral heat treatment. Oh, there's a cat on the porch. That scared me. Hey, Callie. I gotta let this cat in real quick. Ooh, but, and it has a little protector. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. Now I'm sad and happy, lots to catch up on. Or oh, y'all in a storm. <laughs> right on, Beth. You know, it's um we just have a wind advisory, which I think will be fine. And also, we're gonna be like fully house insured soon. So that's really good. We finally found somebody who will insure our junk ass house. So anyway, I actually got them to call us back. <gasps> There's a monarch butterfly outside. Oh yeah, it is potentially. But they they would talk to us. <laughs> so, um, just being able to talk to somebody be like, yeah, we'll insure you maybe here's, we'll get you some quotes is way farther. Cause like state farm and all state were like, no, we don't, no, no. Nope. And I was like, that's fair. Like, house? <laughs> yeah. It's like your house was built when <laughs> you, yeah. Like they like they didn't quite laugh in our face. Buys the tent film and torch, yeah, insurance might be wise. Yeah. We didn't we didn't say anything about that yet. Um Well, since we're first time homeowners and we're coming in, um and how are you supposed to get insurance if they won't insure you unless you're insured? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's complicated. <laughs> And he says, I love watching you, blah, 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 squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, another package. Randy, I actually do think that this one's for you. Do you want me to open it? Yeah. He wants me to open it, Judy. It, it makes no sense. It's in the house. But, oh, Vaughn is in the house. I was like, what's in the house? It's inside the house. <laughs> we traced the call. I just want to say we've been having a really great time uh, hanging out with Maddie and it's been hot hot outside I'm a functioning squirrel always <gasps> Randy what? you're gonna want to come here okay. this face always smells gross Open the present from Judy. Have you opened? Kind of, but I want to see your little face. Ow! Ah, that's a genuine owl face from Randy. What is cool. it? Cool. Thank you. 
Thank you. It's a stand. For? My Switch. Ooh. Thank oh. you. I do not have oh. one of these. I don't, I don't There's know if more. more. I don't know if it's for <laughs> me or not. I'm pretty sure that's for you. Hey, Joseph, we're doing great. Shake that tail for me. Wipe that tail for me. What's that? I don't know. Oh. Smart 8 point. Oh. Port type. Oh. Look okay. at all those holes. Oh, is that what? Yeah. I think I understand now. And it's smart. What does that mean? It's, it's, it's it's smarter popsy. than me. I don't know. <laughs> me too, baby. I haven't read the instructions. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of holes. That's awesome. Now we can charge. Half all of all of our appliances at once. Because just about everything runs off of the USB today. Why does it have a screen? What does it say? I don't know. You Can I take off the sticky? I'd prefer you didn't. Okay, here you go. <laughs> you gonna go read the instructions? Yeah, well, there's not any. Uh oh. <laughs> so, Probably you have to lift the box. Well, I did. Unless this is. No? Hmm. Well, it's officially the oh, future. Yeah, there is. Okay. We'll say it's officially the future. <laughs> our. Our appliances are smarter than we are. Yes. Okay. Oh, hubba hubba. Ooh. <laughs> Centerfold style uh, instructions. Thank Look you. Look at that cat. That was very nice of you. Thank that you. is very nice. Good taste and gifts. Mainly gifts. Ah, well, thank you so much, Judy. Who's that? That's Randy. <laughs> that. And we got a Sam dog, a Sam skin rug over here on the side of the house. Um, okay, what else are we doing today? We opened mail, check. Uh, Y'all wanna see some pretty cabochons? Cause they, they look pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna. Also, just so you guys know, we are having a giveaway today at the hour mark. I was lonely, I wanted to be with you guys. You're gonna hear clicking. There's Maddie. She's so sweet. I love that child. Um, that our kiln is heating up to like, uh, like a thousand two hundred degrees. So that that clicking, that's probably gonna drive you crazy. It's driving us crazy too. But that's what that is. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some. are freshly washed. We're gonna flip this around. What fun. Don't bathe your charger. What? Don't feed your charger. How are you supposed to not keep it? Your well that that's actually pretty solid advice. Reassemble. <laughs> Reassemble. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta grab my towel. Don't tell me how to fit it. Avoid dropping the charger at all costs. Do what? Avoid dropping the charger. And Can we off. talk to it? Like, how smart is it? Can you say, hey, charger, and... and temperatures of 104. Oh, gosh, it's going to get too hot in our house for the charger. Please you call your superior. Oh, really? <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so in this wet paper towel are a bunch of soggy cabochons. <laughs> <laughs> and do not do not feed the charge. <laughs> feed the charge. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, if you guys use at Yvonne Williams, just like how it's uh, spelled and with the right capitals and stuff, it'll highlight it in orange on my screen. And that really helps me to know they're soggy because they got washed. Have y'all never like taken a shower on a hot, humid day and then sat there just soggy for like two hours? Because that's what our cabochons are doing. <laughs> and that's what I do <laughs> every day that I shop. <laughs> you don't have baby chickens anymore. My baby chickens are just about all grown up. Teenage They're teenage, teenage mutant ninja chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you taking my hair, Kyle? 
You gotta tell me if you're taking my hair tie. That's okay. What happened to your hair tie? The house eats them, doesn't it? Our house demands hair tie sacrifices. But no, the little Teenage Mutant Ninja Chickens are doing so good. They aren't laying eggs yet, but they're no longer letting the big girls pick on them as much. So here we have... Which one? Oh, Ginger? What's well, because he kept throat punching? It's not my fault. Yeah, she was, she was picking fights. Um, so... Yeah. <laughs> these are, these are glass. Super, like, super durable. You can't scratch them. I mean, unless it's harder than glass. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what we've got going on in our kiln that will be in this month's craft along kits as well as what we're updating the website with. I'm going to take an opportunity for some, some shameless self-promotion. I don't know, I'm in love with the die crow too, Daniel. Like, and we had a lot of requests for green and that's very fortunate because we had just ordered and received a bunch of green frit. So I actually did a test batch of all of our new green colors. But yeah, I love the and my favorite thing about using glass um, instead of resin, you can get a lot of these cool effects with resin as well, but you can bake glass, um, and you can also use glass in outdoor projects, and you're not going to have to worry about it yellowing the way that um, resin will. Even the nicest resins will yellow over time. And also, you don't have to worry so much about uh, scratching it whenever you're wrapping with it. So we have... I did a whole bunch of sister pieces. Do what? Um, to anneal our glass. Yeah, you get one of these. Um, and they do have uh, smaller kilns. We just got this big boy because we're making like lots of glass. <laughs> um, but I can actually show y'all my firing schedule that I used for these. I fire my binder. Oh, you want to show those off too? Yeah, I don't want to. Now, you yelled at me. Yeah, well, you put cardboard boxes next to the kiln. But you were correct. I yelled at you. I'm sorry. Yeah, listen to that, guys. I'm turning in circles trying to find a thing. Are we really going to sit here and point fingers at each other? Oh, I found it. It's directly yes. in front of me. Because, you know, that just makes me cry. <laughs> like, this is not a winning argument for me. <laughs> okay, I found it. I found my thing. It was right where I put it to keep it safe. Um, I have not, Dancing Tree. That's a really cool concept, though, mixing cremation ashes into the box. Like, I'd love to be able to kind of get into stuff like that. Um, just because, man, like, if I could have saved, like, a bit of my dad, that would have been cool been like, yeah, this is my dad. <laughs> like, um, in like, <laughs> no, well, you can take whenever, okay, I guess I should explain that. We got dad cremated, yeah. and he was, my dad was a big boy, not all of them fit into the urn, so we have some in the urn, and some in like, uh, Keller Lake in Texas. <laughs> so if I could have saved some of dad's ashes, and made the like, pendants for each of us kids and mom, that would have been really cool. Like, and then I'd been like... Nice. Yeah, I could have really creeped me. It would have been like a, the girl with the bowling ball from the stream. <laughs> I don't know, but...
but yeah, she had her dad's skull in the that have been I mean, well now it's just getting weird, isn't it? Okay, so this is the firing schedule. <laughs> oh goodness. Um so this is the schedule that I used for my ninety-six um uh, COE. So at a rate of four hundred, we brought uh, four hundred degrees Fahrenheit per hour. We brought it up to twelve twenty-five and held it there for two hours. Then at a rate of six hundred per hour, we bring it up to fifteen hundred and hold it there for ten minutes. And then at the full rate, so just as quick as it can, we bring it down to nine hundred and hold that for three hours. And that's where we anneal. And then, I don't know, I got this off of like the Bullseye website or something. And then I changed it to 96 COE. That was for 90 COE. For 96 COE, you bring it to 950 and hold it there for three hours. And that's what we annealed this um, last batch at. And it worked out pretty well. So um, that's how I anneal glasses. You want to bring it down to that temperature and hold it there until all of the glass is like nice and like vibing at the same temperature and then you bring it down real nice and slow from there so all right on whenever we start experimenting with that dancing tree we'll, we'll let people know i do not want to be experimenting on other people's like mementos and stuff so and science yep <laughs> So that's a daily dose of science. We're gonna also do y'all wanna see something like stupid cute? Can you turn back, Maddie? No, the other way. I mean you're adorable too, but I wanna see the cat oh she had her head upside down. Callie. I love you, cat. <laughs> Sorry. Um yeah, we've got some just clear and white dichro? Could you just use the fire pit ash to practice? Quite possibly, yeah. That's a good idea. It's definitely a start, that's for sure. But yeah, so some of these, you can see there's just a little bit of dichro in it. Yeah, I definitely like it with a more solid white opaque background. We have those guys. We've got just some little sample purples. Do you do anything with the microwave kiln fired glass? Um, we've I've never used microwave kilns. Um, we'd have had to have just buy a whole new microwave, and you you can do individual pieces or like maybe like three or four cabs at a time in a microwave kiln, but we knew we'd have a pretty high production rate with our Patreon and like what we were wanting to do. Um, so uh, we just went ahead and sprung into using a kiln. I really like that. Oh really? Was it this one? Yes. Yeah. And I need to work on, okay, I was worried that was a scuzzy, but I really like that. So this is one of the greens. <laughs> I really like these white ones, too. I didn't think I would like just plain white as much. But some of these look almost opalescent. Like... Oh, well, thanks, you guys. I'm glad that you like these. I'm really loving making them. Like, this was another one of our greens. This was another one of our greens. I really, really like. And Randy washed all of these for us. He did a great job. And just the light going through it. Oof. I love it. But yeah, so that's our most recent batch, and we do have some little ones as well. Ooh, snowflakes. We will be working on red. Um, it's we're gonna we're kind of just picking a color and then making a whole bunch of them in that color per month. So we'll be moving into reds probably next month. Yeah. Ooh, I like that one. really like that one. Um, 
when I die, I'll get my phone and donate some ashes to you. Oh, right on, Tracy. I would be honored. Smash the like button with the smell of bacon. If you're hungry, smash the like button twice. Which boxes? Mm. Which boxes will these be in? Um, this month's boxes. But moving forward, we'll be having a lot of glass like this. I don't know. We'll see. I was going to try for it, but certainly at least the purples will be in uh, the June's kits. The greens might be in July. Though I don't know. I really want to do reds for July, but we're just going to have to see. Like, uh, the Rona kind of threw off everything that we were doing because, like, stuff just wasn't shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, thanks, Droma. Now, we do have these guys available up on the website. We did our very first shop update, like, um, for this new wave that we're doing of kind of trying to be better at running a business. Um, cat or card? Cat. <laughs> Um, so each week we're going to be doing shop updates on Saturdays to our patrons um, and then announcing them publicly on Monday. This week we did it, it was Sunday instead of Saturday, but, you know, uh, progress. Um, baby steps, right? And y'all bought, our patrons bought almost everything that we had in the shop. So I wanted to show you guys what we have left. And we have some little purple beauties. Oh crap, which one did I pull that from? Ah, thank goodness for lag. Okay, it was the third one, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> so there's another little purple beauty. And then we have this guy. Hey, Jessica. And then I think we still have the Crescent Moons listed. If not, I'll have to get it sorted. Got that one. And we've got, yeah, this is one of our Crescent Moons. Which we will be continuing with resin pieces and stuff, but I'd really like to um, just follow my heart with what's inspiring me here lately that's been glass. Because the nice thing about glass is it doesn't get dog hair in it. <laughs> oh, um, hey Randy, could you send Judy her bill from the auction? Like a email or... Actually, Judy, if you go to the website, just under auction items, it should be listed there. But if, uh, if you can't find it, we'll email it to you after the stream. Like, email her the link. I really liked this one. Yep, Rebel Moons! <laughs> and then this one was our very first fused glass piece to have done at home. So I was really excited. First time using Dicro, too. Another little moon. Speaking of dog hair, there we go. And then the last piece that we have up on the website, and all of these are up for sale, no bidding or anything like that. You can just go and click and buy, first come, first serve. And that is our first wave of home-fused cabochons. Um, Rebel, that is a resin and polymer clay moon. I'd really love to be able to get into making um, glass moons, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, but I really want to make them both out of like lamp work as well as fused glass. Hot up the glass. <laughs> Ten squillion dollars. What? Okay. I will go back to the other room now. Oh, that's so cute. I love you guys so much. Yes, huh? I did. Well, I gotta leave something. Is this 
surprise. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, he says. <laughs> Bed. Um. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of all we've been up to this week. Um just kind of being rambunctious and doing stuff out in the garden and listening to the Dresden Files, which is awesome. What are, what book are we on now? Deadbeat? Yeah. We're on Deadbeat now, listening to that. And it's really fun to just kind of like sit around together and listen to uh, the Dresden Files. Um, so do you guys want leather working, polymer clay, or wire wrapping? Oh, I'd love to see you wrap one of those glass tabs you made. Right on. Melissa has called it. We're going to do some wire wrapping. <laughs> so let me flip this around. Daniel just says, yes. <laughs> we'll start with some wire wrapping. And then we will move on to leather. And then if we have time, we will do some polymer. So this is one of the well it's was well, from the same mold. Ah, uh, right on Stormy. So um this will be kind of the same wrap style as what you could do with um This version of school rocks. Nice. <laughs> All puns are welcome here. It's almost like the worse the better. The worse the pun the better. Okay, let's get some stuff out of the way. These are some cute little cuties we got wrapped in our patron exclusive live stream. Right on, Tracy. And we should still be um, shipping out Patreon kits on the fifteenth. Uh, so, just to keep everybody in the loop. Okay. So I think I'm going to wrap this one kind of point down. And I'm using some 16 gauge. Um... <laughs> Stormy, I love it. I'm going to use my new little wire snips. Oh, I like that spring. But I'm using 16 gauge uh, round wire. And I'm cutting this off at around the 16 inch. Also, just to let you guys know, um, we will be doing a giveaway at the one hour mark. If you want to go to last week's live stream and leave a comment, um, that will put your, just on a comment on the video, just down below, just regular like, um, that'll put your name in the hat for entering the giveaway. And we'll be giving away one of our last month's craft along kits. Ooh, thank you, Daniel. It is the very last day to sign up to start getting boxes. Um, yeah, Patreon usually takes out on the first of the month. So uh, just if you pledge before then, but also if you don't want to deal with Patreon, you can just keep it kind of keep an eye out on our website. And um, we'll be posting some for sale. And we do announce that on Patreon, but you don't have to be a pledger. If you just follow us on Patreon, then uh, you'll get all sorts of behind the scenes content and like updates that um you know without having to pledge anything <laughs> well i've had i've actually scratched my glasses um with wire before so it's it gets close sometimes magic uh bonnie says is that one that randy made yes this is one of Ra this is actually Randy's very first fused glass piece, and I think he did a phenomenal job. 
It's so pretty. I don't know how I'm going to wrap this, actually. Let me start thinking. I think I'm going to do... I like to bend into the curve, so let me find the center point. I think I'm going to make, like, a frame. Also, another thing that's really nice about this is I could put copper tape on it and then solder it like it was a piece of um, stained glass and do like kind of a faux bezel on it, um, which might be pretty cool. But that's something that I can't do with our resin because it does not do well with the heat. clean up my desk, but nah. Okay. So I've pulled off an arm span of 26 gauge silver plated titanium toned pair of wire. Because they're the bomb diggity. <laughs> and I am going to try to find mm, maybe if I had like a little like silver toned bead maybe. Let me rummage. Let's go a rummaging. I have my drawer of forgotten projects over here. Um, rummage, rummage, rummage. Looking for, looking for a silver bead. Mmm, there's some pretty beads. Where's this? What's this? Mm. No, I'm gonna have to actually go get a bead tray. Yes, I found a silver bead. <laughs> Just a tiny little. Oh boy. Is there another one? There is another one. They're not the same color though. Is my head in the way? Probably. Herpin' dropin' high away. Herpin' derp doodle boop doop. I have found four silver, five silver beads. I just need one more. On a rummage. Woo! Coming back over this way. Face full of hair. Sorry, April. <laughs> okay, so I've threaded this little silver bead. <laughs> oh no, Jax's mom, don't tell me that. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call it from now on. Cleaning my deck. Scrubbing down the poop deck. <laughs> so, just like that. I just want it to take up that little bit of space in the tip. There's one, two, three to stabilize. Yep, just the tip. <laughs> One, two, three. Is that three? Yes. Okay. Hey, Christina. <laughs> Jinx! Randy and I both say hey, Christina. We miss and love you and hope you're doing well. Turp and derp, doodle, boop, doop. Okay, so I'm going to do five wraps. So that's three, and then there's four, and then there's five. That'll do. So then on the other side, woo, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five,
four and five. Okay. And so now you can see that kind of fills in that little spot. Oh, I'm so sorry. It just keeps being blurry. It'd be different. Maybe if I just, eh, here's a box. I'm just going to take it Squish that back. <laughs> Pro tip. This is not the way to clean. <laughs> but by the magic of editing and being in or in out of frame. <laughs> oh, man. I need professional help. Um, so there we go. <laughs> okay. So there's five. And then I'm just going to do one. Hey, Julish, how's it going? <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, right? Like, I'm like, I just need, like, a bulldozer. Like, a little miniature bulldozer for my... For scraping down the poop deck. <laughs> okay. So I'm doing five, then two, then five. I actually feel like coming in from the other direction, but I can't right now. Drat. Okay. So I'm weaving backwards than how I'm typically comfortable. Like I usually like coming in from this direction as opposed to this direction, if that makes sense. Ooh. Oh, the pool noodle idea. That's great. One, two, three, four, and five. Do 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 yeah, windshield brush and just sweep it all aside. Yeah. Um, I don't know, does just turning it over? Kind of? Maybe? What's up, creator? Right on. I love you. Bye bye. Herpin derpin doodle. doodle. And my wire keeps touching the screen, so. Okay, so there's five. What's up, love? Oh. Who? Oh. One, two. And then there's one, and it's just a little finicky getting these uh, started, like, started up. One, two, three, four, five. We do need to get Randy a mic. Hey, Randy. Do you want to come sit by us a little bit? With my tabablet? <laughs> Thanks, Pipea. Because my wire keeps touching the tablet. Says that happens to me while I'm trying to watch tutorials and wire up, right? Who's Randy? You really gonna come be by me? No, 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 who's the back? Oh, like, I'm not mad, I'm just happy to see you. Just saying. Okay, so now you guys might be able to. <laughs> Penny says, I call Maddie Mermaid Hair Princess. She is basically Mermaid yeah. Hair Princess, but the struggle is so real. Like that poor child. <laughs> Like, yesterday, she dipped her hair in her coffee almost, and it was just... Because she was trying to get a dog hair out of the coffee, and then dipped her hair in it. <laughs> I'm just impressed. 
impressed with the sheer endurance she had. <gasps> what the heck happened? There's 457 people in here? Goodness. That's gotta be a glitch. Oh no. I'm suddenly very self-conscious. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Turp and derp and doodle. Yeah, just keep working. I'm gonna ignore that. Um, oh man, I'm all sweaty. Uh. But yeah, I'm just impressed with her endurance. She has to like brush her hair for an hour. I know. She let me brush her hair a little bit, and I was very happy, but it made me very tired. Um, yeah, this is officially like this is a record, you guys. We've never had this many people in a stream before, glitch or otherwise. Yeah, she went upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Kelly's looking around like, hey, we're the oh. <laughs> Five. Well, very cool. Hello to everyone who's lurking. Whose arms am I supposed to 529? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Red Kill says, you have half the population of an elementary school watching you. No pressure. <sighs> okay, yeah, we're changing the subject. Must be a bot bomb maybe i don't know if he gets youtube's algorithm to show me some freaking mercy that'd be nice <laughs> well i'll be darned okay so we've got five two five two five two we just did five. Oh no i'm supposed to be wire wrapping no i'm just gonna do like the whole frame like this though so yeah first time for me in a live subscribe this week oh no and I just realized I've been in top chat this whole time on both of my devices so I am now in live chat if I was not paying attention to your comments I'm very sorry I'm only like no. pretending to be a professional really dancing says you've been mentioned in a lot of wire groups on Facebook recently oh right on <laughs> Just in news case there's spreading. News is spreading. Oh no. I suspect witches. I suspect me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for if there are actually five hundred and seventy seven people in here, we're about to do a giveaway in like thirteen minutes. So if you guys leave a comment on last week's live stream that puts your name in the oh. hat for the giveaway. Oh no. Oh no, there's a cat. Oh. Hey Callie. Well oh. the giveaway's cancelled. No. I can't get over there to it. I know. There's a cat in it's my You're in a rolly chair. You'll be fine. I ain't rolling through the house like you. Oh. Ah, uh, thanks, Melissa. Coming in like a wrecking ball. Hey, Dury. How's it going? Clean desk is a sign of a deranged mind. I don't know if it's glitching or if you repeated that, but yes, you are accurate. Lady says, I did. Okay, cool. All right. Have a good day, Stormy. Bye. Randy's super sassy. He's been up to his ears in estrogen, and then my sister and her two daughters are coming and staying for like a week. Um, ahead of schedule. Yeah, a, a few days ahead of schedule, about a few days longer than we had originally planned. Um, yeah, the sass squatch. This is fun. This, it, it's going to be, we're going to have fun. But Randy is going to be in a house, just him and the two boy dogs, in a house of two female cats, me, Maddie, Beth, Maddie, and five uh, females. So, bless his little heart. He's gonna go stay with the rabbits. He's gonna go stay with the rabbits and chickens in the shed. No, no, just the rabbits. Just the rabbits. One, two. Yeah, more chaos. Three. Me and that one chicken's got a couple blows. Yeah. Or I'm gonna put you and the chicken in a big T-shirt until you guys get along. I'll make her bleed because she made me bleed. Oh my gosh. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Do they not? Nobody. <laughs> right, and he's going to request a doll and a chocolate. Quite possibly. <laughs> Bless his heart. Run! <laughs> We're, we're a pampering household, I'm just going to say. And Randy does take my pampering for his back pain. <laughs> this shit works, though. You sleep with chocolate in your paws, self-defense system, it's a thousand percent, per, uh, one thousand percent effective. <laughs> right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we've got three weeds on each side, but honestly though, Randy's gone into like full-on like dad mode, and I think he's thriving. Like, he does really well with 
just humans in general. Like, he's a super nice person. <laughs> and he's so used to just handling my grumpy ass that, like, having reasonable human beings in the house... I mean, which... Just the fact that I make teenage girls look reasonable. Um, <laughs> I guess I need to work on some stuff. But, um... It is, Alyssa. This is the same... That This was the very first glass cabochon that Randy had made. Um... But it's the same shape and size as what we'll be giving out uh, in our craft along kits as well as what we're selling on our website. So I wanted to kind of show you guys um, what we're what we're up to. Dad bod equals father figure. Yeah, right. And I wanted to do a little bit of a frame first, maybe. Um, you just over here popping his gum. <laughs> well, thanks, lady. Thanks, Kathleen. Herp and derp and do. Boom. Three. Four. And five. Very cool. One, two, three, four. Goodness. You are covered in fur. Oh my gosh. Honey. Is your <laughs> Oh, Z. Oh, <laughs> Even the dog's covered in cat fur. Ooh, yeah. Seven minutes until the giveaway, you guys. Seven minutes. For real, <laughs> Amy. One, two, three, four, and five. So yeah, this can be kind of time consuming, but I think it's gonna look really cool. <laughs> the ticky tocky. Let's be a necklace charm. Um possibly. I might make it into a whole necklace. This one is going to be for me because I wanna keep it forever now. Um Oops, didn't mean to bump the tripod. Uh, but yeah, I think, I usually call necklace charms pendants, but the terminology, like, I don't know if there's, like, official terminology for stuff like that. Um, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to, Tracy. <laughs> and then one and two. Oh, the cat's back. In the middle of three things, don't feel like working on any of them need to be inspired. Oh no! Yeah, that can be kind of a rough spot to be in, Kathleen. Oh, well, maybe you pick up a fourth thing. <laughs> There we are. And a lot of the, um, sometimes it can be really difficult to get even weaving. So I just try to, um, I know this isn't what a lot of people want to hear, but it's practice will make progress. Hey, Diane, we're doing great. But by just focusing on one little stitch at a time and kind of giving it that bend around, that way we then come through, bringing the wire through. By doing that initial bend, it helps your wire end up closer to where it wants to, like where you want it to be. So, oh, well, thank you, Tracy. Aw. <laughs> Melissa says, I can't wire weave to save my life. The wire pulls away even when I smoosh it. Oh no, what gauges are you using? Because here I'm using 18 and 26 gauge. And I think sometimes it can actually be easier for some people when they're first starting off to use like a 24 gauge weaving wire as opposed to like a 28 gauge. Um, though for some people, you know, it's vice versa. I wonder if it's that you're teaching that means you're going slower than I do. Oh, I don't know. I 
I do know I, I weave much more uh, slowly in like live streams and videos oops than I do whenever I'm uh, just zoned out like yeah when I'm just focusing and getting into my weaving zone Christy says I actually posted about on Aaron McIntosh's post of a dragon eye. Right on. I'm not sure who that is. I have been living under uh, basically a big old crafty rock. But I like it there. It's pretty hot today, Daniel, but it's very windy. Um, and I'm hoping I'm just becoming maybe a little bit more acclimated to the uh the swamp temperatures but since it's very windy it's not nearly as humid today oh well thanks kathleen oh uh right on okay so i do want to get the weaving to where it'll kind of mm -hmm. hey randy i have an idea let's draw a little bit. Here's an old receipt that I can draw on the back of. Um, I kind of want to brainstorm a little bit. I normally don't do this, but it might be a good idea. I've been trying wire wrapping lately, but my thick wire is so fragile that it warps and bends when I try to tighten the thinner gauge around. What do I do? Um, if you're having a lot of problems with that, I would increase the gauge of your core wire and decrease the gauge of your weaving wire. So like here I'm using a 16 gauge and a 26 gauge, 16 for the core and 26 for the weaving. Um, if you're having tr problems uh, with your core wire like warping and stuff. Oh wow, right on Christy. Such a small crafty world. <laughs> um, if, if you have the thin, thicker core wire and the thinner weaving, you'll have an easier time and you won't have to, like, bend and warp as much. So, uh, right on, SJ. I think it's sick, but with a J. So. <laughs> yeah, wire quality um, sometimes, too. Like, if you're using a dead soft or a half hard. Um, ooh, from Athens, Georgia. We've actually driven past there. Um, it's my first time making it to your craft along. Well, it's live. Right on, Jennifer. Go live every Tuesday to the public. Mm hmm. Private I'm using the thinnest wire possible. Right on. Um, you may want to try uh, using a nylon headed hammer to stiffen up your core wires, like hammer them a bit first. That way they'll hold their shape a little better. Okay, right, I was brainstorming. Okay, so if this is the shape of our cab, y'all get ready to see some, like, mad art skills. This is not to scale. Um, and then if we leave... Kind of just in this shape. And then maybe putting another dot in each corner. Like another little um, bead. Sorry, the dogs are working. That's what they do. So like if we bring it up to the corner points and then do another bend. Um... <clears throat> And then we could do a, a three layer bale. So that one might be like a little twisty. Um, and then a little weavy part. And we're doing the two, five. All the way around. And then what we can do from here is um, try to like kind of 
figure out how we're going to suspend this pendant onto the frame. So we could do horizontal cross points. So we could have it wrapped twice there, finishing in like a little spiral. And then the third wire coming across there. Because if we do that in like a, ooh, maybe a half round, 18 gauge half round wire. Randy's just looking at me like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, and then we could do something similar up here. So on that third rep, just bring it across the back. And that gives us some space that we can fill in. We might be able to do like a large 10 millimeter bead. We could do a 10, 8, 6, 4 even. Not to scale. Um, herp and derp and doodle. Herp and derp and boop boop. Herp and derp doodle boop doop. I don't know if I want to fill it in with beads or fill it in with other weaving or like what's up. We might be able to do a little bit of wire repeating the motif at the bottom up there at the top. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know how intricate or, or or ornate I'd like to go with it, um, but this is how it starts. Have you ever used a one-step looping tool for making beaded chains? I've only been making jewelry for about a year and could use some advice. I have. Oh, let me see. I don't know if I have it directly on hand. Um, some problems that I ran into with the looping tool is I could get one loop like perfect like the first loop like you'd put the wire in and like swoosh and it would do the thingy um and then I'd put my bead on and then I couldn't like fit it back in there'd always be like a little bit of space um but then like I just once the bead was on there I couldn't quite get it close enough but it did make making half of the loop pretty easy um, and it worked better with some gauges and some wire stiffnesses than others. Um, but it's just, I don't know, I, I personally prefer to do wrapped loops if I can manage it. Um, but for some folks, especially if you have like uh, stability issues, um, it can just be really nice to be able to go through with that tool. It's 4 p.m. Well, it's three. Ah, giveaway time. You're right. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the round. Jeez. Randy is not prepared. He is a kitty in the lap. Okay. I can go do the giveaway for myself since you're being held up by management. Um, yeah. Maybe. Do you want to help me? <laughs> Oh, she's so cute, though. I love her little studies. I'm going to take Oh, meow goes a kitty. Okay. Oh, she's right, so boys. sleepy. Randy's getting the giveaway crap. Look at that cat. She's pissed. I love you, though. You smell nice. Okay. I had to hug the cat. Um. Turpin, derpin, doo doo. Doo 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 doo. I would love to learn how to make this item. Right on. It's been for kitty. I know. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, can you see all that? I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but it's <laughs> it's everywhere. I figured I'd miss the giveaway. Oh, there she goes. Okay. All right. Let's go to the other room. Oh, I went really slow. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Ooh, really? Okay. I've got the camera set up on this side. Oops, you can re-angle it if you like. I'm going to grab the giveaway item. <coughs> oh, that's glitter. Glitter. Yeah, right? Hmm? Pet glitter. Pet glitter towards her. Half a 
second. I read Eddie Von Williams as at Randy Von, and then your hair looks so pretty today, and I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> but then I realized it was. <laughs> I missed the spot. You have like one long robe hair. Well, always. Always. Okay. So it is your intention. You don't smell like the queen. Yes, so today we are giving away one of our ten dollar cab boxes from our craft along kit kits craft along yeah um and it features one of our very first fused glass cabs so if you haven't put your name in the hat it's fixing to be too late can i get in next to you we've got one you more comment hmm? we've got up one more comment Ooh. okay so we are at commentpicker.com slash YouTube and we put in the URL for last week's video is how we do these giveaways. And he's clicking the button. Do you want to angle it so they can see? Ooh, you're all good. <laughs> Close enough. Jessica Armstrong, uh, watching it now. My brain needed a nap earlier. Added, finished watching it the next day. Would love to see the fairy chest as a time lapse with snippets of video of you constructing some of the parts. I would like that. That would be really cool. Congratulations, Jessica. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, if you would send us an email at backtracreations at yahoo.com with where you would like for us to ship your giveaway to, we'll get that taken care of for you. Um, if we don't hear from our winners within four weeks, um, we just the put, boxes go back up. Yeah, we put the box back in the pile for giving out. Um, and we do giveaways every Tuesday in our 2 p.m. Central Standard Time live streams at the one hour mark ish. Uh, we do a giveaway pulling from people who had commented on the previous week's um, live stream. I gotta run to the next one real quick. Can you keep in touch with me for this time? I'm gonna take a look at Have a kiss. Give me a kiss. Go potty. No. What's this? What's what? That's a. Oh. oh. Does it work? No. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello, everybody. 604 in chat. Are there seriously 604 people? I see 636. Wow. So now I get to live out the dream of having 637 people slowly watch me drink this bottle of water. <sighs> well, that's one thing fulfilled. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are here. <laughs> So I think next, I think the next color of glass we're going to be doing is going to be red. So if you like red, maybe next month. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. What is that? I'm flailing for things to talk about. I don't know. Did you have a good birthday? Yeah. That was in the past week, wasn't it? I don't know. I think we just sat around and played video games. Yeah. It was a really nice thing. It was good. Okay, I'm gonna go back over yonder, get back to where you're rapping. How are you guys doing? Did Randy take care of y'all? <gasps> guys! I don't know if I can go back to work working on wire wrapping. Can. Oh, she's exhausted, you guys. Okay, oh, time to. She's just like, oh, is this where you're working? Yep. Yeah. So, time to work on a different project. Is this where you did the plans for what you were going to do next? Yep. So, we'll see if we can't shoot a tutorial, um, like an actual real time tutorial on that project. Uh, now that the cat's laying on it, it's been blessed. Um,. <laughs> Yeah, the delay on the tablet is pretty epic. Um, 
we're just gonna get some like super up close <laughs> footage because that's what this channel is about apparently <laughs> herp and derp and doodle Thanks, buddy. but yeah not to be like completely obnoxious but sometimes she lets me look at her teeth whenever she's sleeping But she's also so tired that I don't want to bother her too much. Yeah, boop the nose. Boop. Like, she is dead to this world, you guys. She's so sleepy. She's the most sleepiest of kitties. But, mm, we got some toe beans. We got some toe beans. We got some, we got some whiskers. She's a good girl, you guys. <laughs> like, this cat deserves better than me being like, hey, you're asleep. How am I going to stick my fingers in your mouth? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back over to the leather working area. And it's going to be a little bit loud because we have the air conditioner going in there. But this is life now. Um, and we're going to be open to taking some requests from you guys. Let me go get the camera moved over. Excuse me, puppy. Hey, Randy, can you scoot over just a bit? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> and let me twist the tripod around. Sorry, I don't mean to be making y'all seasick, but, well, this is life now. So, here we have some... Get that. Nope, wrong button. This is some excellent high quality entertainment, by the way. Kidding. I'm working on some like phrase bracelets. And we're open to requests. Whoop. There we go. Tightening down the little tripod parts. is I start whenever I have some scrap just cutting scrap into a whole bunch of strips that I like to use for um, this bracelet style and then I go through with these are actually metal stamps um, in a couple of Hashtag who's Randy? Do I have a hashtag stamp? <laughs> Ooh, leather maple leaf earrings. No, I don't mean it. Oh. Yeah, my green round one broke, but this is a really nice granite slab from Candy Leather. My time to shine with the sunflower. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're gonna do a my time to shine. I don't think I have a sunflower, but I do have a sun. So If you have an eye, you can make a hashtag with it. Right on. We have some that say super durable. <laughs> and I just try to fit in as much as I can. I'm very bad at doing straight lines. Um, <laughs> but what we'll end up doing is we cut out this section. And since we're making inventory, I wanted five for in the booth and five for um, the auction of each design. So we have some little blessed bees because I really wanted to use the crescent moons. We have some super durables with stars. Red and bronze or red and silver? Mm, I, I don't know. Oh no, I don't know. Both, maybe. 
Love to the moon and back. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever done a Ren Fair? I'm doing my first one with my train mail and do not know what to expect. Elaine, um, we've done some, like, one day or, like, one weekend Ren Fairs, but we've never vended any of, like, the big Ren Fairs. We've always gotten turned away because they're like, oh, we already have a wire wrapper. We already have a leather worker. We already have a chain mailer. And I'm like, okay, that's fair. Um, hashtag brown coats. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's basically... If you've vended a craft show, like an outdoor craft show, it's like that, but way cooler. Not temperature-wise, certainly not temperature-wise, um, but with like, um, like you know, people are going to be in costume and stuff. But just basically plan on the plan on the worst possible weather. Um, so if it's potential rain, potential heat bring the stuff that you're going to need for that like if you don't have sides for your pop-up or your um display uh get some tarps or you know if you need to stay within ren fair themes some like oiled uh drop cloths or something um and that will keep it from you know keep the water off of it but also you know keep the water out of your booth so those are the three that we have so far and I made 10 each of all of those. Leave your pet here. <laughs> right on, Kathleen. And I actually kind of really like the wobbly, you know, if I wanted it to be perfect, I'd just do it on my Glowforge. Um, do what, love? Ooh! So, I'm going to take the leather, and I'm using all different thicknesses as well like you can see we have some free black glitter yes i'm a leaf on the wind so we have all sorts of thicknesses i try to not go too thin but yeah i'm really sad that bristol isn't happening boobity and squirrel <laughs> run fairs are a ton of fun but like, uh, I'd test wear your garb in the heat if you're going to be wearing like a costume. Um, like, y you know, because for me, I always want to look really cool, but I want to not be dying of heat. And if you're having to go to the bathroom in a porta potty, I don't want to be dipping my skirt in anything. Like usually like light pirate garb. <laughs> like pirate style, like a renaissance blouse or, you know, shirt, uh, some leggings, and then like a fancy belt. Um, loud noises. Okay, the way that we turn these into bracelets is I'm going to have a thicker, wider piece of leather that I then stack this on top of, and I have holes punched and I do a rivet and a rivet, but like I shape it first and then bring it up. We do rivet, rivet, and that way whenever it's down, like around your wrist, it'll be nice and flat. Um, and then I use a Sam Brown button on either end. I'm just spraying the leather with water. This is a fine mist sprayer from Candy Leather. I like it because you can press once and it sprays a bunch of water. So, which is nice on bigger projects, you're not having to crank, crank, crank. Um, What were we going to do? I'm going to leaf on the wind. Let's do that one. That's the most recent one I read. Um, smash it beautifully. And this one's probably my favorite um, font. Like, though, I do also really like these lowercase ones. Um, but, like, these ones uh, don't translate as well into leather as I would have liked. Split drawers are the best thing ever for 18th century cosplay. Not period accurate, though. Yeah, and that's a whole lot of um, stuff with the Ren Fair depends on which Ren Fair you're at. Like, uh, vending an SCA event is way different than vending a fairy festival. Like, even though to the, like, to the public they might seem like very similar events, it's very, very, very different. Um, so, I... Is that an L or an I? Where's the capital I? Oh, and I also don't keep these in order, which just makes life interesting. Okay, so I guess that's the eye. I 
am a L E A is already out F and then where's my O at? On O There is a dis difference between the W and the M in this set, um, and it's important to be mindful of. Um, the W, I, N, D. Okay. Yeah, loud noises incoming. Let me get the tripod situated around so I'm not whacking it, hopefully. Take my left, take my left, take my left, cannot stand it. You can't take this from me. Now I know I've got a leaf somewhere. Where my leaf at? Um, it's over here. I'm gonna find a little leaf. Where in the heavens? Found an acorn. <laughs> there we go. So I have just a little. They incorporate leather work with chainmail. I have, and I love it, Melissa. It's probably one of my favorite combinations. Okay. Yeah, sorry, just still trying to find a good tripod setup that I'm not going to be hitting the camera with the... There we go. Just getting that little bit of an imprint. And it does not take a whole lot whenever uh, you're doing these. concentration mode. There we go. I am a leaf on the wind. And let me find the other leaf because I have like a matching set. <clears throat> What's she up to, right? Oh, yeah. Stamping things. <laughs> so here we have the opposite leaf, mirror image of each other. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, a wing divider, if I were worried about keeping it even, I would definitely be using like a wing divider or something. But, uh, I'm not super worried. Maybe from the wind. It lends itself to the handmade look. <laughs> about making some kind of holder to put the stamp in line and just whack the whole thing at once. Um, that is a clever idea. Uh, in my experience, if I have a very big stamp and I'm hitting it with a hammer, if I had a press, that'd be one thing entirely, like, because it would apply even pressure along the whole line, but, um, 
if it were a very wide then and you hammer like in the middle it might be not even pressure from one side to the other <laughs> right christina it's a lifetime of collecting and so many you know of our friends and viewers have been very generous in sending us you know their extra tools and materials and so now from here after we have done this step um <clears throat> for production i just leave my tools out like how we have here um and that way i can go through and i'll just do 10 of this um and then get it into my stack my stack so i had enough for like 30 bracelets over here um but then the next way that we're gonna be um tools right gary like and i am a tool junkie like heart i don't know if y'all noticed um let me see if i can find my I organized over here, and now I can't find anything. <laughs> okay, so I have a little punch board. And I'm going to be using a round end punch. Oh, boy. Sorry. There's like a chair and Maddie's laptop in the way. There we go. Because I want to show you guys a bit. We had gotten some more of these drawers to try to separate and out and divide. So that's where I keep my rotary cutter. This is where I keep my blades and box knives. This is where I keep my sharpening stuff, which I need to move this one up a drawer. And then this is where I keep my punches and my rounded end punches. So let's see. Oh, I like that one. That looks like a good size. So that way, uh, the biggest step for me in organization is having everything needs to have a spot uh, that it goes. And so getting those drawers, and we got those from like, I think USA Plastic Corp or something. USA Plastic, maybe. We just ordered them like kind of in bulk. Well, you can get them just individually. <clears throat> so before I start trimming the ends, I keep my favorite punches up here. So I'm going to use, oh, I think the 1 8 inch one. No. No. This is my favorite, you can tell, because it, eh, the thing's gone. <laughs> like, it's done rubbed off. Um, but, let's see, what size is this? This is 7 64ths, or is it, the inner diameter is 3 30 seconds is my favorite hole punch size for whenever I use with uh, <clears throat> rapid rivets from Tandy Leather. Sorry, I don't mean to clean my throat in y'all's ear. But I'm just going to come in right here. Yeah, they're just like the ones at Walmart, but I was able to get them for less expensive at uh, Plastic Core. Always, always use a punch mat. Because you don't want to be used in your punch just on the... Uh, have you tried painter's tape to align your letters? It does not have as much adhesive as other tape. Oh, Dean, that's a really good idea. Do you ever paint or highlight your leather? I do, Kate. Okay. I usually wait until after all of my tooling and everything is done, though. There we go. And now I'm going to come in and... And I use all sorts of stuff. I use acrylic paint. I use leather dye. I use just... Anything I can get my paws on, really. Um, though I do prefer to use dyes or stains or antique gels um, because they'll hold up over time. Though they are starting to make some heavy body acrylics that are suitable for leather um, and that it has to be very, very flexible. Yep, chop the end clean off. These are pretty sharp. And keep in mind, if something will cut through leather, it'll cut through your skin super, uh, super super easy. We are not super durable. Though some of us are in our way. And now I'm going to be going through with a tool called an, uh, a beveler. <clears throat> I believe is what they're called. Where in the heck did I put my bevelers? Because none of them are where they go. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> Sorry, I was looking right there. Boop, there they are. <laughs> so... These are very handy little tools 
that I like to just come through. Our skin is leather that has not been cured yet, so it's even easier to cut through. And I'm just gonna take off that sharp edge on just one side. If um, I weren't applying this to a bracelet, I'd do both sides. Um, but this is going to be flat up against some other leather, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, open. Or not open, but just unbeveled. And so we could use that size, or we could actually go up a size to... I really like this tool. It's a Craft Tool Pro. And this leather isn't quite thick enough to warrant this beveler. Maybe I can do one of these from over here. Here we go. That's a thick boy. And it can be kind of difficult sometimes to get the leather on these. I've also seen some people sand their leather instead of using a beveler like this. But just since they're very thin, since the straps are very thin, it's hard for me to get a good grip. But, and now you can see the difference, hopefully, um, between the squared edge and that rounded edge. Um, oh, I don't know. It's quite big. This, this tool is discontinued. Um, I do recommend a variety of sizes of bevelers, Gary, um, because some of them will work better for thicker leather. Like these two, I like to use for my like 10 and 12. Oh, right there. It's a size four and a size five is what I have in these ones. Yes, <laughs> same tool you use on your cuticles, but much larger. Um, I use the four and the five Craft Pro, Craft Tool Pro um, on like my 10 and 12 ounce leather. And then I don't know if I have a, oh, there's a little number on. And this, uh, this is a size four. So you can see clearly there it's like pant sizes. The numbers, I don't know if they actually mean anything. <laughs> Um, and this is like the just Tandy Leather brand, I guess. Um, size four. I wouldn't mind a size bigger than this or a size smaller than the size four of the Craft Tool Pro for, uh, cause that one works really well on like. Ooh, Penny says I sanded leather edges when I made a book cover and I didn't even know it was a thing. Works pretty well. Right on numbers what do they mean right I tend to burnish leather with specific oil versus sanding it right on and normally even if I sand um, I'll go through and I'll still burnish the edges I just tend to do that after a uh, stain or dyeing or you know anything like that because I don't want to burnish and seal that edge closed before um, before the colors on there and these are some of the tools that we like to use oh my gosh at that pet hair oh boy <laughs> so this one like uh i'll well randy actually does all of our edge bed or burnishing um and we'll put that into our dremel and then we put some beeswax on this after it's been dyed and then it so it spins it and that burnishes and closes all of those pores and fibers of the leather and gives it a really nice slick smooth edge which um, on a bracelet you know if it's like rubbing up against your skin having a nice smooth edge there not only makes you know it protects the leather from wear and tear but it's not quite so uh, rough on your skin and for cosplay purposes that's really nice if you have like a uh, chest harness or something and you don't want it rubbing up in your armpits you want a nice um Oh yeah, I bet so, but Katrina, that would, that if I did more belts and things like that, that would really justify one of those bench top uh, burnishers. But so honestly, you can just put this into like a bench top grinder, oil it up, and just go. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And like even these ones, like you can screw it into a Dremel tip or something. And there's a plastic one on the market too. Though I do also really love. It's just like a pine beveler from Tandy Leather and this is probably my favorite one when I'm doing it by hand. 
So you can get some also like really cool effects of if we did burnish all this before applying the dye, if you want a nice lighter edge. Uh, right on Gary, using your Dremel and it works awesome. I love, love my Dremel. Um, but yeah, so we'd take this uh, antique it, because again, working in big batches, I'd get all of these up to this point, and then I'd go through and batch dye them with antique gel. What kind of beeswax do I use? I just use a, a brick of beeswax that I'd gotten at like Hobby Lobby with a 40% off coupon like a decade ago. And I just take it and rub it along the edge. Though I also have used uh, Neat's foot oil um, and gum tragantha or something. I'm not, <laughs> words, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's something intended specifically for burnishing edges. I've also just used Super Sheen. Um, like finish to just finish the edges. Um, here, late PO stopped by. Use. Oh yeah, making a Pocobolo burnisher. The Pocobolo house burnish. Ooh, right on, Propel. That sounds fancy. Yeah, as a crafter, anytime I can save my hands from cramping up, I will. Right on, Alyssa, and amen. An old picker candle that broke. Ah, that's perfect, Mandy. Did you ever get through your tub of Aussie wax? I'm still working through that same, that same tub of Aussie wax. Trigant gun to burnish right on. Chocobo. <laughs> I'm using chocobo wood. Yarp, yarp, yarp. Okay. Oops. Don't mean to hit the tripod. Oh, it's at least three years old, Danny. Like, at least. And other than just giving it a nice, tidy, finished edge, I've never really heard, like, why everybody's like, Alright, you gotta bevel your edge, or, yeah, bevel your edges. And I'm like, okay. But whenever I first got into leatherworking, that somebody, like, there was, at every convention, there was always somebody who came through and was like, Oh, I see you burnish your edges. And I'm like, yeah. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. Excelsior. Very true of that. Do what, Randy? Yeah. <laughs> like, should I? Should I not be? I don't know. <laughs> And also, it doesn't seem like it would be a big deal, but sometimes setting up or picking up and setting down your tools takes up like a crazy amount of time, especially if you're like me and you set it down and then promptly lose it. So I usually like to go through and do all of my leather in phases. So whenever I have a big pile like this, I'll just come through and I'm just going to punch the holes in all of them. Right, Mandy? But no, it was somebody, somebody new at every convention. Ooh. When it's so windy, the house breathes. And uh, the plastic that we put over the windows, like, sucks in and out. <laughs> yeah, right, Red Kelp? smokes up to 694 that's got to be a bot or something i hope youtube doesn't get mad at me and shut me down youtube if you're reviewing this i didn't do that like it's not me please don't yell at me <laughs> and if there's actually 696 real life human beings in here hello 800 are you oh seriously <laughs> 800 
people in chat room, Randy just blinks quietly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Making awkward eye contact the entire time. Nilla Bean says, yeah, <laughs> how old is your house? We're pretty sure it's close to 120 years old. Um, it's old as heck. Egyptians were not building pyramids. That one was a super durable. Yeah, I don't mind to. Oh, it was. It was a double, wasn't it? Thank you for letting me know. There we go. <laughs> right, Daniel? Get Randy a paper bag to breathe into. <laughs> saved little punch outs for anything sometimes I will collect them up and saturate them in essential oil and put them in campfires but then it also smells a little bit like burning flesh so there is that I also use them to top dress some of my house plants because the leather will break down um, <laughs> it, but that gives the house plants a taste for flesh so we try to avoid that. Um, I used to put them out in the compost, but then I found out that the chickens really liked eating them. Uh, and I don't know if they're supposed to do that. So now I just bury them in the front flower beds where the chickens don't go. <laughs> Ooh, to string them for necklace rings and bracelets. That's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've kind of stopped paying as much attention to the numbers. Um, like, not like, oh, I don't look at numbers. Like, it's not like that. It's just, I, I think there's like bots or something going around. Today. Um, so I have no idea what's up. Bless you, baby. You got the Rona? You got tell me if you got the Rona. Yeah, hey, don't hold them in. <laughs> You'll bust a valve if you hold them in. Yes, that is little shop of horrors. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, so far, Dragon Con, as far as I'm aware, has not been canceled. So we really, 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 really need to start making inventory. Um, oof, I think this one I'm going to have to do the rivet holes in the stars because I made it a little close to the end. Yep. Allergy season for sure here. For sure. Yeah, right, Kathleen? And just the fact that typically whenever we have, like, you know, uh, a large influx of people into the room, there's usually a spike in, like, trolls. <laughs> Penny says, how are you not being hit by the storms? But we have rain starting here in... Oh, I don't know, Penny. Um, Like, we're just under a wind advisory right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, But we are keeping an eye out. Like, I went and I brought the umbrellas down, but they're still in the tables outside. So we'll have to see. What's up, baby? Really? 
because I coughed? Yeah. Well, that and we're also down in like the southwestern corner of um, Missouri. So like we don't often share weather with like St. Louis and stuff. Like we're closer to like Tulsa weather. Justin. Tulsa is a really cool town. Here being in Canada, <laughs> right on Melissa. <laughs> Justin says, surprisingly so. Like, I actually like Tulsa better than Oklahoma City, I think. All of your thunderstorms are going to hit us tomorrow. Mm. Oh my gosh, Colorado and Utah have snow? Is that normal? <laughs> yeah, there are a few, there, we have quite a few people hanging out with us from Tulsa here in these streams. Ooh, okay, so Randy brought all oh, the kitties still sleeping over there, you guys. So this is my number one excuse of why I'm not getting anything accomplished. Oh, I know, baby. I know. Did I clear off a spot? My little mouth. Guys, you gotta look and see. You have got to look and see. Oh. Look at Toby. Who's your good girl? Oh, I'm gonna get daddy. You just about look at her little mouth, you guys. She's so cute. Her little jelly beans. Little jelly beans. Send feet pics. <laughs> hey, Callie. <gasps> what you doing? Oh, I love that little face. I love those little ears. I love your little whiskers. <laughs> mm hmm. <gasps> boop. Is that a boop over? Sometimes. Sometimes she let me get her little mouth because she got the cutest little. Will she let me show her teeth? No, okay. Oh, I live for this dumb cat. <laughs> like, everything I work hard for in life is so that she can have more tuna. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. So, getting this back into the tripod. Beep, boop. And Randy was so kind as to lay out. This kiln is putting off so much heat. It is at almost a thousand degrees. But that's okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, she loves salmon. There's my little ember cat in my. I have not finished reupholstering that chair because every time I'm like, yeah, I need to do that. Ember's laying in it like it's the best thing in her whole life. And I'm like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, these were all of them. Yeah. That's one batch in the kiln. Hey, Ryla. How's it going? But, so we've got some greens going that we're experimenting with. We've got lots of purples. I really love those whites like the kind of milky milky looking calves very very cool yeah the cat is spoken leave the chair alone <laughs> okay so I'm gonna do some oh, the thing froze Maybe we're gonna have this. oh yeah I'll be right back 
Yeah. Oh, thank you, Randy. Um, but yeah, Q and A time. So if you guys have any questions, you have my mildly un. Mm, oh, I don't even know how to mildly undivided attention. Don't lie to them. I'm not lying. I'm just. <laughs> Hey, Kay, thank you. Squirrel? Squirrel. And also, Randy's here, too. If you guys want to ask him anything, he might have something to say. I'm not half-truthing it. Just because I'm in denial doesn't mean I'm lying. Like, just because I'm wrong. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm telling you the truth. Um, <laughs> hey, Kathleen. <laughs> I know, Tanya. I am trying. Thank you for <laughs> recognizing that. Hey, you dog. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, your face does. Um, who's Randy? White calves look so good with the human tight wire. Ooh, that's right. That that is. I agree with you, Tracy. <laughs> Can you do tutorial of on just doing wire bales? That's a really good idea. I should write this down. I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> also, if you do have any questions before we do the at Yvonne Williams, it really helps me. Um get my shit together um but no to to see and to know that you are asking me a question um when will the cab boxes come out uh we'll be shipping patreon on the 15th so when's our shop update after that so hopefully we will have cab boxes on the 22nd so um you excited for the temperature change in Missouri tonight? I can't wait for the cooler time. It should help with the film heat. <gasps> it's going to get cool again? It's going to get down to like 70 tonight. And then for the next week, it's going to be a high of like maybe high of 80. Yeah. That's going to be amazing. Yes, I am looking forward to that because I really need to get my peas harvested. And ooh, we had this groundhog that went through and ate all of like my entire salad bed. But he wasn't eating. He just laid in. So all of it's like busted up. And I'm so mad at it. Stinking groundhog. Um... <laughs> um, Spooky Kitty asks, or anyone else, I know we like Chainmail Joe, but has anyone ever purchased their complete Chainmail kit, or maybe just the book it comes with? I have not. Hopefully somebody, somebody else, out of the 800 and, just 800 uh, people in the room, has anybody gotten Chainmail Joe's complete Chainmail kit? Um... Please ask Randy Vaughn, are you going to get Shadowlands? Hey Randy, are you going to get Shadowlands? I hope no. I hope he's done with WoW for a minute, because WoW is a stinking filthy mistress. <laughs> What's that? Wait, wait, no, that, just staring at the screen like that isn't an answer. With WoW going in the background, you whore! <laughs> recheck. Oh, recheck. <laughs> what does he say? Um, I'm just over here yelling. I... Uh, can you leave Super Sculpty out in the open and go back to the project the next day? London Girl, you can. If you have pets or a dusty house like my house, uh, I recommend covering it with something. But yeah, I often, I personally often come back to it. Um, all right, Nori. Oh, she definitely gets more friendly when we have food. Like, she'll come and she'll take it right off your fork. She's terrible manners. Um, what brand of leather tools do you recommend? The, the tools that I get from Tandy Leather or Springfield Leather, um, which they do ship uh, if you don't live in Missouri, but Springfield Leather is fantastic uh, if you're ever passing through the area, um, hold up so much better than the stuff that I've gotten on Amazon. Do it, love? Oak. Oh, yeah, the oak leaf sides. I think they were asking about tools, though. Um, I don't pay attention. Kind of gotcha. Um, I don't worry so much about the brand as I like steel tools as opposed to aluminum tools because the aluminum tools uh, don't hold up as well over time at all. Um, <laughs> if you were a woodchuck, how many seashells would you sell your rubber baby for? I don't even know how hard to What? <laughs> oh, Randy's unsure if he's going to get Shadowlands yet. 
Um, Patricia, just so you know, it's if you do the at sign and then like it doesn't highlight it if you just do hashtag. You have to spell out like the whole name. I know it's inconvenient, but it really does help. Um, I just I'd hate to miss any of your uh, any of your questions. Um, are are we going to get some pretty new glass beads slash tabs in our Patreon boxes? Yes. Um, this month we're gonna have a lot of the purple um, calves, <laughs> right, Mama Salty, uh, and also like yes, there's gonna be lots of lots of glass. I'm really having a lot of fun experimenting with the kiln. Um, wow, it's overrated since red cow. Oh no, really? I can't remember the path of exile. I've been eyeing it for a bit and thinking of finally getting it right on. Oh, random leather tools. I tried the train chainmail rainbow stretchy bracelets and I can't get it to line up right. When you do some more, you please record it again. I've watched your tutorials so much. Right on, Tracy. Oh, which weave were you doing? Um, because sometimes that can make a big difference. <clears throat> um, Elizabeth, hey Elizabeth asks, have you written any books on jewelry making or have online classes? Um, no. We have a couple of written tutorials that we have available to our, um, Patreon supporters and their digital download tier, which is like our $5 tier and up, um, but those are companions to some uh, video tutorials that we've done. I try to keep all of my tutorials and like online classes like live streams and stuff uh, free um, just because I really think that whenever I was first getting into this it would have been really nice uh, to have not had to pay so much for like I didn't have the money for books or classes or anything. Um, so now we will be having Camp Craft Along uh, which is um, like a weekend retreat in March uh, of 2021 where we do like hands-on and all the tools and materials are provided and it's actually catered um, and stuff so it's like we have some things like that going on but and I'm going to be writing like a wire wrapper's guide for going along with that class like for the curriculum so we might look into getting that published but I don't know we'll see it's there's no telling what the future holds. Um, have you ever shipped out bigger packages that didn't fit on a little mail scale? How would you weigh them? We have, Alyssa, and what I do is I weigh myself without the package, I like standing on my bathroom scale, and then I weigh myself holding the package and just do the math and like cry a bit. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, just every time and then put that on the um for the shipping weight so and i usually always round up like if it's like 14.8 pounds is the difference i just say it's 15 pounds and i'd rather overpay a little bit um than risk underpaying and having it not ship properly or like whatever like you know what i if that makes sense um so sorry i'm trying to okay tracy says I tried to make the tri-strand chain anklet and can't make it stay flat. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Tri-strand chain anklet? Hmm. If you could post pictures to Discord, Tracy, if you use that and tag me, um, like do at Yvonne Williams over there too, it'll notify me and I'll be able to find your post, hopefully. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, uh, the Gans, hey Gans, says, uh, suggestions on how to get into glass. My mom's wanting to get into it, but doesn't want to invest a ton of money if it's not her thing. And with the Rona, I can't take classes right now. Yeah, that's a real struggle. Um, if you have a microwave, using a microwave kiln, other than the little kiln part itself, all of the other glass that you invest in, you'll be, I love your little face. All of the other glass that you invest in, you'll be able to use with, if you get like a big kiln or, you know, anything like that. So, um, I, while I haven't personally used, I think that's important to state a microwave kiln. I've seen other people use that online with a lot of success. Um, and then that way, just, you can kind of get an idea, um, of it. A lot of it is if you don't like the look of glass jewelry 
I don't recommend getting into making glass. Like, and again, that seems really straightforward, but there are some looks of fused glass that I'm like, I don't, I'm not interested in that. Like, I personally would never wear it. I'm not like excited about it. But then there's other things of fused glass that are like, uh, dichro that I'm like, oh, slobbering, just being like, oh, look at the shinies. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, it's for Delphi glass actually has some microwave kiln kits that comes with like, you know, the glass and stuff. And I presume has some like, uh, instructions <laughs> and stuff. And that can kind of, it's a lower, no, not a lowered expectation. Lower investment, it's still a pretty penny. Like, there's nothing about glass that's been affordable so far. Um, though, is she interested in fusing or lampwork glass? Because um, lampwork glass is a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. You know, it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Using his, that's a whole different Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that helps. Um. <laughs> hey, lady, what's going Yeah, stained glass is a lot of glass cutting and the soldering and stuff, but not a whole lot of, like, you don't need to kill them for it at all, I don't think. <laughs> so... Um, how do you make the flash colors in the glass? They look amazing. Bettina, that's a product called Dichroic Glass, which is glass that has, like, a metal, I think, fumigated to it. I could be telling you wrong, but it's different metals will get you different colors, as far as I understand it. I do. Yeah. So, whenever I'm making fused glass, here, too, we have... Here's a bin of all the frit, that, I, all the frits that we use, and the different colors that we have, and they have opal, which are the opaque ones, as well as translucent. Um, and then we also have, like this is a big old thing of chunked clear frit. That we use, and then this is the dichroic that we use. Dichroic glass by CBNS. So I could be, I, I'm actually almost 100% positive I'm using the wrong terminology, um, but I don't know. It's coated, it's not fumigated. I don't know if that's I'm not entirely certain on the process. I recommend giving it a good Google. Um, but so the little chips come with those colors on them. And then whenever I'm filling up the frit molds like these guys over here um, I use a product called Zip Z -Y -P. it's a boron nitride aerosol um, or spritz bottle I, I prefer the aerosol though and I spray the molds and then we fill them up with frit so like these molds here are what we used to make this guy so that's how we do that What's that? Specific attention to the COE, which is the coefficient of expansion, because all of the molecules of the glass need to be kind of vibrating at the same frequency. That's what annealing is, is getting them all uh, like nice and chill and like all vibrating at the same frequency because when it's heated and cooled, there's going to be like different tension and stuff. So you want all of it heated and cooled at the same rate. And like 90 COE, 96 COE that we use for fusing, as well as like borosilicate glass is like, is it 30 or 33? I think it's, might be 30, I don't know. But the borosilicate glass and the soft soda glass that we use for torch work, which is a 104 COE, all of these are expanding at different rates um, and have different like, uh, like, tolerance to heat and temperature impact so like uh pyrex glass is like like it can handle being like put into the oven whereas if you take like some like glass bases and just put it into the oven it's like, like in or shock it into um you know a hot glass into cold water and it's gonna that thermal shock will make it break 
Um, and so the the I think the the borosilicate is way more like accommodating to thermal shock than soft glass at a 104 COE. But if you mix them together, they just will not cool at the same rate and they'll fracture and shatter every time. No amount of annealing will make two different COEs behave together. Uh, so as far as I understand it, again, give it a Google, read some articles. I'm still very much a noob at this, um, but that's what I understand so far. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, Bettina, I hope that was helpful to you. That's how we do the flash in the glass. Um, <laughs> okay. Try putting garlic cloves into your vegetable bed or into the ground. Chase those critters away. I just might do that. Mmm, garlic. Did you ever try a stained glass window or art making? I was curious about that. Love as a child. We haven't, but we're really interested in it. Like, Randy especially is pretty interested in uh, making some stained glass. And he's a meticulous enough of a person that I think he'll, he'll, be, he'll do wonderfully at it. <laughs> um, any tips for just distressing leather quickly? I'm making leather necklaces and they're very stiff. I want a flexible, distressed look, but I don't know how to make that happen. Uh, put on some Netflix and just sit there and roll it around in your hand, like, or kind of hand mill it, which is like if you take a very stiff piece of leather and, like, roll it over, um, like a doorknob or something, you know, or just roll it between your hands, like, just breaking up those fibers will make it much more relaxed. And that's whether it's a solid piece of leather for, like, a bracelet or, like, a leather cord for a chain. Um, haha, <laughs> right on, Jack. Uh, well, thanks, lady. I'm glad that you like our work. Ah, Gary, I'll have to check that out. Pictures of the corset. Um, any resources for buying large double terminated crystals? I ordered some and they were not very good quality. I really recommend Ron Coleman Mine in, um, like, near Mount Ida, Arkansas. Uh, they have pretty good mining conditions and stuff, and they're pretty straightforward, like what's in the picture is what you're going to get. Now, Randy and I have gone there to mine our own crystals, and I don't know how many double terminated um, you'd be getting, but uh, that's one, like they do offer wholesale and stuff as well. And then also just checking on eBay, um, and just sometimes it can be really hard to find like a consistently good seller, but... We're all in that boat together, it seems. <clears throat> Have you ever used neem oil slash water mixture for protecting your garden from bugs? I haven't, Christy. I've read about it a lot, but I've just never quite had the money for it or, like, for a spray applicator. Um, I mostly just kind of deal with <laughs> having bugs. The chickens actually do a really good job, and I do a lot of companion planting and um, a lot of hand-picking of bugs. But also... Once, like, my squash vines, once the squash vine borer is set in, I just cut whatever's left off on the vine and, you know, let it go. Lots and lots and Oh, I am so far behind on, um, <laughs> on, uh, thank you, Callie. She just threw my project on the ground. You little booger. Huh? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Um, to take me to Pixel Town. We've been making some Opalite. I sure hope so, Rebel. Oh, um, yeah, I am very, very behind. I didn't want to miss a single question, though. Nilla Bean says, so Zip is like flux for glass? Kind of. It's, um, it's like, uh, greasing and flouring your cake pan before baking your cake. Is, I think, the, uh, the best way of putting it. <laughs> When I saw the box, I thought it was my auction box. Craft Crate instead. Aw. Happy, sad, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> right on, Melody. Um, okay. Ooh, check my battery level. That's a really good point. We are at 23%. We're still good for now. For now. Um. <laughs> 
Um, have you done an experiment with just a little dichro and melting that to see what happens? Like with a torch or in the kiln? Because with just the dichro, if I don't have something underneath it, it like, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it'll puddle, but it's the, the film on it behaves differently if I have it stacked in with other glasses. Um, uh, Patricia says, what do you recommend for first project with resin and wire wrapping? I bought two part four ounce each. Amazing. They're cost high gloss. That's a really good resin to use. Um, for wire wrapping, um, for the first resin project, I would almost recommend using like a mold or something. Um, if you have that or making something out of polymer clay and painting it pretty and kind of doming it, um, with the, uh, because the clear class, I think that, I think that dome's okay. You might need to do multiple layers. Um, are you steampunk goggles paddle on, on diesel punk? Ooh, right on, Gary. That's good to know. Do you ever have spots in your vision while working with glass? Like when you look at something too bright too long, or does it not cause that? Um, whenever I'm using my torch, I have these glasses that I wear that are, it starts with a P and it filters out the sodium flare. It's very, like, I'm super, I have bad eyesight anyway, so I'm super, like, gotta protect my eyeballs. So, um, I've been wearing those just as soon as I could um, to keep my eyes. So I, I don't get any spots or anything uh, from using my torch. Red Kill says, I'm trying to convince Dad into getting chickens to get rid of the box elder bugs. I can't guarantee that they'd eat them because I was really hoping that my chickens would eat the stink bugs in the garden, and they're like, mm -mm -mm. they're too well fed for that, I guess. But um, in the kiln, like, make a little cab just have it out of just dichro. I'll have to try that. That'd be expensive, though. Like, that tube of dichro that I showed you was like $50. So, dichro egg is like, ooh, super expensive. Yeah, and it didn't even come filled to the brim. It's like like a bag of potato chips. Um, <laughs> gotcha, hands. Yeah. Um, anyone else curious what comes in the chamber kit? Some pictures on Discord. Ooh, right on, Gary. Um, uh, bye, Ellen. I love your layered hair. You're nice and easy for summer. Yeah, I chopped my hair off this morning before getting into the shower, and I'm really loving... I think this is a good length for me. Any longer than this, and it, like, I just wear it in a bun all day. Um, do one of those tiny round ones, like, one lump of dye curl. I'll have to do that daily. I actually have some more 90 COE, uh, just in, like, a little sheet corner that I'll have to try that. Hey, Norma, we're doing really well. We're just doing some quick, like, Q&A, uh, to wrap up the stream, kind of answer any of y'all's questions. That you might have and it looks like i am caught up oh katrina says the diaper coating does not expand and stretch the glass using it just diaper doesn't give the best results yeah i really like suspending the diaper and just for shameless plug it's the near the end of the stream again so i need to do our little there's our ceiling um if you want to support the channel promo uh stuff that we do <laughs> So some of these cabs will be going up to the website. Um, some of them will not. Some of them will be going to our craft along kits for Patreon. But like some of them, sorry, messing around with the tripod. But how, it, if this was dichro on clear, and so by putting it in with other clear glass on top of some other transparent and um, opaque glasses, makes the dichro look like it's kind of just floating in there. And we could do it a lot more densely, but while I was experimenting, I didn't want to use too much dichro just in case um, it, it didn't fuse well, because this was my first batch fusing a 96 COE. Um, and sometimes less is more. I wanted a little bit of almost like a, like opalescent, just flashes. I really like.
like those. And then here we have some little ones for like uh, rings. And it just doesn't want to focus. How do you control the amount of bubbles in the glass? Um, with Frit, the smaller of Frit that you use, the more bubbles that you'll get. So I use a mixture of medium and mosaic glass. I use medium on the bottom and then mosaic on top. And I try to not get too many bubbles in, but I do like some bubbles. I think it adds some visual interest to it. Um, can't see what cab comes in the to activate this one. <laughs> I'm excited for you to see, Daniel. How do I get a question to about what I can purchase from your website? Um, I'm not certain, Lola. If you have any questions, you can ask here while, while you have us live. Um, but, uh, yeah, actually, let's see. Can you do a tutorial on how to use the epoxy spelt? I'd love to, Crystal. Just for like a, um, those look like clear opal shiny flakes for resin. They do, Alyssa. <laughs> they do a lot. Um, yeah, if you go to our website, um, backtoworthcreations.com, I'm going to see if I can't get it loaded up. Uh, I'll show you. We can kind of navigate together. Okay, so if you visit our website, Kind of slow to load, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, it's just backtoearthcreations.com. <laughs> well, thanks, Debbie. We're glad to have you guys. Um, so this is on a tablet. It might look a little bit different on a web browser. You can either click the menu and go to our shop. Oops, that's the tutorials back you could click shop or you can just scroll down and click shop and then we have our digital like there's all products listed but that doesn't really I don't know how to like if I could put that on shuffle that'd be really cool um, but we have our patterns and templates which is for our leather working and stuff slow to load but yeah and you can go through and you just click I should change it to where it says buy instead of shop. It's a work in progress. Um, all of that stuff is did instant download. So you can click shop. You can click craft along materials, which is where we're updating weekly. And then we do have the auction items as well. Um, so if you've won your bids from our most recent live auction, uh, you can go just go to um, shop and click auction items and it'll take you to where you can complete your transaction there. But here you can see we have um, some laser cutout stuff. If we don't have any left, it says sold out. So like our dud boxes, we just don't have any out. Uh, and so there are, these are all of the cabs and stuff that we still have. And you can go through and click on the images. And it'll take you to a page specifically about that item that way you can see alternate views that's with the light going through it and then you can also look at it with just the measurements as well as with a slightly different lighting angle um the june's auction let's see also on our website if you go to the home page because i don't remember because <laughs> time is a construct um and you just scroll all the way down to the bottom. We have our calendar of events, um, which I actually need to go through. We will not be having, uh, don't know if you'll notice, but we didn't have a tutorial this past Sunday. Uh, we will be having our auction on the 26th of June. But yeah, we try to keep all of the times and dates posted for stuff there. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the website. Um, and that's where we're doing just about all of our um, online sales. We still have a couple of things listed up over on our Etsy, but those are only digital templates, and that's because uh, we had already paid to have them listed. Um, have you received the electric bill yet? We did, and there was no difference. And we were like, 
so more data is required. Um, I'm sure our electric bill is going to be crazy stinking expensive this month because we're going from running basically two, maybe three window units a day and the kiln to running almost seven. Yeah, but it's still, it's, yeah. So it's running basically one window unit for whichever room that we're in. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but it was such a cool month last month that uh, we weren't really using the window units very much. So we'll have to wait and see, but we are bracing ourselves. The electric bill is coming. Um, <laughs> so, but I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll be crazy stinking lucky. Um, they smell down the bills. <laughs> The kilns will be really nice in the winter, and I think that's probably whenever, whenever I'll be doing the bulk of uh, our glass production, maybe, is because it'd be pretty cool if we didn't have to run the kiln all the time, uh, all year, but, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> but that being said, um, I'm sure Maddie's getting hungry, I know I am, we haven't eaten since breakfast, and it's 4.23 in the afternoon, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us in today's video. Um, everything that we do here is made possible by you and our patrons. So thank you guys for that. Um, by viewers like you. Um, <laughs> so thank you guys, really. Like, it means a lot to us that you choose to spend your time here. I know that we enjoy it. So um, we will see y'all in Saturday. We're having, uh, for our $1 and up pledgers, a patron exclusive live stream where we kind of hang out and... Um, stuff. <laughs> I love your little things. Stuff and things. Um, but yeah, happy crafting, you guys. She yeah, cuddling no. The She's cuddling the glass cabochon. Okay, last view of the cat, and then we're leaving. da na 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 da na 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 Yeah. Oh, you're so good. I love you. I love you. Oh, you see little scratch scratches on your little chitty winnie. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.